Hi. I've had a few disasters. I wanted to show you this from scratch. But you know, in some ways it might be no harm to actually have already put something on there and uh, explain now what I did and can maybe do a few little bits more. So I started off. Of my, my aim here really is to encourage you to begin your paintings, your mixed media paintings of flowers or whatever the subject, with life and um, expressive spontaneous application of paints. So this is about mark making really, paints, collage um, and anything you know that will make an interesting mark for you and keep you interested because that's what we all want is to be inspired by the surface as we're making it. Okay so I started with some of this B&Q wallpaper that Veronica kindly bought for the last workshop. Thanks Veronica. Um, I tore some of that off and stuck it on up here with the PVA glue. So I've got PVA glue just stuck on, put onto my palette there. And then I used some of um, something similar to this is from the Burl Collection catalog, um, and I put that on. I tore that piece of paper out and stuck it on for the vase. And then I used um, this lino roller, rolled in an um, orange acrylic, and then rolled up and down like that. And I also used it across here to explain the top of the table. And maybe just use some water now to dissipate that orange a little so that it runs down so then you can maybe splash some on as well um, and then i have this um, softer roller that's already wet and i'm going to stick some more of the crimson on it that i already put on it was actually sitting in crimson water and that's what made this color back here but it's just a different texture again you know for the background And then maybe with it already being wet, you could draw into it. Sorry, I'm down there a lot because that's like where all the stuff is. You'll find you create a huge mess doing this. You could draw into it with one of these ink tense blocks. These are um, these are um, water soluble pastels, and so you could, like a turn it on its side and draw a line with it. Maybe use your non-dominant hand to draw with. Um, and then I've got a yellow, an orange version of that as well. So of course you can. Okay, so that's that. And then um, I've got this lovely, I've got this lovely pink acrylic paint homemade from um, Cynthia at the last workshop. So I'm going to use that with this raggedy brush and apply it maybe over and apply it over the red with. Um, kind of a cross hatching mark. Maybe splash some of that on as well. Just stumble it on here. I'm scumbling it on there over the dry um, cobalt blue. Okay. And then you can also paint with a rag. Very pleasing thing to do is to paint with a rag. Oh, before I forget, I've got some nice um, tissue paper here as well that I thought might work for the vase. So while the paint is still wet, While the acrylic paint was still wet there, it sticks on, you know, so it'll work for the vase. Maybe I'll stick another bit of this on too. You know, I'm not going to. Well, actually, I am. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want it to run out again. Okay, so here we are. I put it on top there, I think, so that we get back a bit more of the clarity, more of the clarity of the vase. I don't know if you can hear me when I turn around. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to do. What was it? Oh, yeah. Is this ink. It's just like Indian ink, Windsor and Newton do it. And uh, it's brilliant green, and you can draw with it with the end of the brush. Maybe a sharpened stick would be a more effective drawing tool, or even just the ordinary side of the brush. But it creates a new mark again. And you probably want to be, um, well, I probably would be on the floor doing this normally, but I want you to see what I'm doing. So you can kind of tilt the board and let the runs and drips go in the direction that you want them to go in. Um, this, I'm I've taken over four minutes, so I need to stop, but it's great fun. Practice, you know, do stuff that you're not in complete control of. Maybe have a still life set up so that you've got something to refer to. But then, you know, pretend that you're back in nursery school and play. All right, have a lovely time. See ya.